hey what's up everybody welcome to mr deep coding channel now we are finally going to start the kmm social media application and for this first video i will basically introduce you to the project uh, show you what you can expect to get out of this video series the required tools to build our application and also create the client side project client side because not only we are going to use kmem to share the business logic between android and ios but we are also going to use ktor to build and deploy our own backend now before we get started if this is the first time that you join us then please take a little bit of a moment consider subscribing to the channel like and share the video that will be appreciated now let's get started so as you can see i'm here inside figma um, you can see i've got here the design but if you want to see how all these screens uh, fit together uh, inside android because i've already built uh, the ui whether for android or ios and i also published a video on my twitter page where i showcase the android side with um, demi data like the one that you see here on my screen so we're not going to spend much time uh, talking about the design you can see that uh, i designed also the ios side uh, for the tools what you will need is if you haven't already download android studio uh, Android Studio is an integrated development environment to build Android um, applications. So we'll use Android Studio basically for the Android side as well as the K as well as the KMM shared module. Uh, we'll use Android Studio for that. After downloading and installing Android Studio, you will need to download IntelliJ ID. Uh, I will include all these links in the video description so you can download that directly. So once you come here on the IntelliJ ID home page, you will need to click here on the download. Download just the community edition. Um, that will be enough for this project. So after downloading IntelliJ IDE, the last thing is to download app, um, what I mean, Xcode. Uh, you need to open your app store under the develop tab you will need to uh, click on the xcode among these applications here click on the xcode or click directly on this button which normally should say get like uh, this one you need to click that and download xcode and it will be installed directly on your mac os computer so after the tools we are going to create the client side project now uh, let me close this and open android studio you'll need to launch your android studio um, ide and the first thing that you will need to do if you haven't already is to download the kmm plugin under the plugin tab you need to click on this plugin tab here and on the search box you need to type in kotlin m like so and the first application or plugin that will be suggested to you here is the kotlin multi-platform mobile plugin you will need to download that after downloading you will restart your android studio so that all uh, changes will be applied so after restarting your android studio you need to come back uh, on the projects tab here and click on this new project button all right uh, once on this screen you will need to scroll down until you find the kotlin multi-platform app uh, template you select that and click next this will bring you to this um, project configuration here where they require you to uh, set a name for your project uh, mine i'm going to name it uh, youtube social app like so you can also uh, give a package name to your project and change the location if you want and also change the minimum sdk uh, api for android side yeah after that you need to click next this will bring you to a second configuration page 
where uh, if you want you can leave all these as they are by default you will need to uncheck this at least for now we're not going to do any tests and select regular framework for the iOS framework distribution after that you need to click finish so this will set up everything together and I will find you once this is done all right now the boot is done and first of all you need to change uh, the project view from Android to project that way you can see all the files and directories inside our project uh, a KMM application at uh, the basic setup contains three modules uh, we've got Android app just a normal Android studio project the one that you see when you create a normal Android studio project uh, iOS app like Android is just a normal Xcode project uh, you can see here and the shared module uh, let me expand this under the SRC uh, folder here will contains three source sets or three modules uh, in KMM language we call or in Kotlin multi-platform language we call them source set so you can expand this source set here as you can see we have some classes that have been created um, by the KMM by default so this basically showing um, the expect actual mechanism uh, let me open this so you can expand or you can open these classes to see what they contain but we will have time to come back to the expect actual mechanism in depth um, during this video series so don't worry for that uh, let me close this you can test uh, to make sure that everything is working perfectly to run your app if, if you have an android uh, emulator or device running you can directly uh, run the app and check that everything is working you can also directly run your ios app inside android studio for that you need to change the configuration here from android app to ios app that way, if you have a running iOS simulator, you can directly run this. And of course, you will need Xcode for that. Xcode should be installed on your computer. Yeah, I mean, that basically all for the KMM basics. You'll have time to come back to this later. Uh, let me take a little bit of time to talk on how we're going to build this project. So first of all, will build uh, the registration and login page on the Android side. After that, we'll move to the backend and set up the authentication and try to connect on the backend and the client and make sure that everything is working. After we'll come back to Android and finish the UI completely. I mean, finish all the screens for our Android app. Then we'll go back to the backend side and also finish the backend after the backend we'll then jump uh, on the ios side and finish also the ios application so that's basically how we're going to jump back and forth um, between all these to build our project um, that's all for this video in the next video we'll uh, of course start the android app uh, we'll build the like i said the registration and the login page I will see you then in the next video.